every single allegation that could be trotted out against the PMOI was made, every one of those allegations was considered, and every single one of them that was material was demolished by the British courts. Whilst I was in the United States, I pressed the United States government lawyers to tell me of a single piece of evidence that they had, beyond wild allegations made by the regime that cannot be corroborated any way, that was not rejected by the British courts in carefully reasoned judgments at two senior court levels. They were able to tell me of nothing. Now, I am a friend of the United States, I am a lawyer in our common law jurisdiction, and I admire their common law jurisdiction just as I think, by and large, they admire ours. But I do expect the United States, and I have said this to lawyers direct over there, to apply the same rigorous standards of judicial review of executive action to their State Department as were applied in the United Kingdom to our government. So far they have failed to do so. What possible reason could they not have for doing so? Well, Lord Clark has used the right word, in my view, appeasement. For years, as you've heard, the British government, the United States government, have appeased the Mullahs and Ahmadinejad because they have some kind of perverse belief that things will be better if they do not square up to them. But honestly, what is to be gained from not squaring up to them? What is the evidence that there is anything of advantage from not squaring up to them?